everything. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this is the flintlock gun. And this is our first trial. And if it comes out real nice, we're going to do some awesome stuff with flintlock guns. Yeah, awesome stuff. And, and Desiree has a very steady hand. Like, I mean, it, 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 like sometimes it shakes, but pre it's doing today, pretty well. Yeah, today's doing pretty good at mm -hmm. Well, she's pretty good at dissecting things, so she, I'm certain she can paint a gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she's not cutting it open. Thank and, God. and by the way, I'm a bio major. I just don't go around dissecting random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bio majors, painting, theme park guns. Yes. See, you, you see, you see that? Wow. See, we're adding diversity. Ooh. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> and here is Fish. Fish is also helping, but at the same time, she's also being very interested in this camera because she's wondering why is this thing looking at me. <laughs> uh, 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 see, you see the paint? It looks like a turd. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was looking at racist jokes the other day, because mm -hmm. And I found another funny one. Mm -hmm. What do you call a black man with a 150 IQ? I have no idea. Gifted. I <laughs> thought <laughs> <laughs> it was so messed up. That is so messed up. But it's true. Now, if you said black woman with the I-50 IQ, with the 150 IQ, that'd be different. Oh, it'd be quite different. But it said black man. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there are some real funny ones. I like how this is starting to look like weird. It really does. That looks real nice. But yes, let's uh, we, we'll put some pictures of flintlock guns mm -hmm. on the video later. Mm -hmm. Probably with our voices going over it because this this portion is rather boring. Yeah. You're, oh yes, we're um, using some gold paint. You know the stereotypical steampunk paint. Mm -hmm. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it up. This is just this is just a test run. We got some silver paint. Well, this is definitely gonna get used. And we got brown paint, which is probably gonna be very neglected when we paint the next guns mm -hmm. so <laughs> but this gold paint will be used to so oh yes we bought this stuff from Walmart it cost uh well if I get a receipt I know but uh, all together the paint brushes they only cost five bucks they cost four sixty seven the uh, individual paints I did not look at the prices for them I guess I it's yeah one ninety seven for each acrylic paint we also have masking tape to protect it so you know we know what's going to be brown and what's not going to be brown everything that's not taped over well right now should have taped this part over yeah i don't think the paint's going to go that haywire well yeah <laughs> it's not really <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. i'm not going no idea what happened we got masking tape and we got paper plates we didn't buy these from walmart because walmart wants to overcharge you for paper plates so we went to dollar store instead see you got smart you got to shop smart <laughs> so, yes. So mm -hmm. we're painting it. We're going to show you some progress later on. You can see the handle getting painted very quickly, so this won't take very long. Okay, here we are applying the second coat, and it's just about done, as you can see. Looks quite wooden because the acrylic paint was. Well, make sure you paint in one straight. No matter where you paint on the gun, make sure you paint in one straight line along the, basically along the um, the uh, curve of the gun, because it'll look more authentically wooden that way instead of plastic and terrible. Like if you paint crisscross, it's gonna look pretty awful. So paint all in one stroke and you're pretty good. Make sure to paint towards the end of the pistol. Or towards the back, basically just back and forth. So it looks very nice, and this is the second coat. So pretty soon we're going to get started on doing the metal stuff. And since this part of the pistol is uncovered, we're probably going to start painting that with silver. So that's going to take a few coats. But it basically takes about two coats of paint. But it might take you a little bit more. You might have to go back and cover up some orange. Like two to three coats. But that's basically it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So now we've taken the tape off and we're just getting the margins. But you can pretty much see this is the halfway product, I guess. And then we're gonna paint the flint, the flint lock 
silver. And the rest of this is gonna be gold. It's gonna look quite nice. Cause you don't want too much silver and too you don't wanna like blend it too much. You wanna have at least one contrasting part. And we'll show you the end result later. But there you go. Okay. We started on the gold. The brown's pretty much covered like we got a few gold splatters here on the gold, but we're gonna paint over there. Not a problem. You can't put tape on acrylic paint because the paint will come right off. So that's why the tape is not present right now. But it's coming out very nice. You see the quality of that? We use a shade of gold called, shade of gold called, it's a metallic paint. Remember, a metallic paint. Do not get metallic paint for the brown color. Wood should be a very dull, flat color. But it's a metallic, pure gold. You never see the focus there, it's probably not, but it's metallic pure gold and it's 660 660 metallic pure gold and it's made by folk art but you can probably find th this is the color that we have on the uh, top of the thing it's a very it's not too light it's not too bronze because see the bronze color a little too much in steam pump, so we decided to just do the normal gold thing because the bronze color looks Terrible. I don't suggest putting it on a gun. And next we're gonna paint the flint lock with the silver to contrast the uh, brown and gold. But the gold basically gone every other metallic part except the flint lock. See? Flint lock comes that one. So that's gonna be gold. And that's gonna be gold. Okay. Right there. That's gonna be gold. Yeah. Trigger's gonna be gold. Basically everything. And we'll show a picture of what we, we we used for a model and what the after product of this gun looks like. And we'll also show you our personalized guns after they're finished too. Because you don't have to always use them. When you use the uh, typical steampunk colors, I mean, it's going to look nice. But you want to be original with it. you got to change it up. You know? And there are also different color models of flintlock. So you can always do that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's how far we've gotten gonna add some pictures of it so you can properly see it, but the glare is very nice off of it. <laughs> it depends on the face of the person who wields the cross. Yeah, look, it was, um, they took a picture and it was a ghost out <laughs> huh. A dead body. Is that the one they recovered from the house? I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. Back to subject. This is the gun. Mm. Uh, we just finished watching uh, Haunting in Connecticut. But this is the gun. The gun is finally finished. It is fully painted. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Let me turn on some more lights. Yeah. Let's, let's showase the gun and all. It's it like, went from this. So basically, this is what it used to look like. Yeah, the silver is very watery. Man, that was that was a bad buy. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And let's flip it over on the side so you can see the flint lock color. Oh. And compare. And it came out very nicely. See the detail. See the detail really does count for something. And uh, let's see, Desiree wielded. It. It's it's, it's yeah. dry now. It's dry it's now. Dry now. It's dead all the way back. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right. And there you yeah, it, see, it works just like that. Yay. You can also pull it all the way back and uh, put that right there. That board, and that's the flintlock rifle, and mm -hmm. it, it has no barrel, of course, but you want it that way. It's just a prop. It's very lightweight, not heavy at all. Mm -hmm. And um, later we're gonna hot glue some accessories to our other guns, but this is the first. This is the prototype gun. It came out too nice, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show it off the uh, and then we'll take one. 